that's easy, right? It's a simple question answered. And so this, this devotional, if you will, uh, will be extremely short. 24 divided by 2, of course, is 12. And you have the 12 apostles, and you have the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 sons of Jacob. So problem solved, easily answered. And that is certainly the most common understanding of who these 24 elders are that they represent the Old and the New Testament. We'll run into, run into, um, the Lord will speak of in chapter 7 of Revelation of the 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. He lists 12. Uh, out and go down to Revelation 21, verse 12, speaking of the new Jerusalem. And she had a great and high wall with 12 gates and 12 angels at the gates and names written on them, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. And then it also has uh, 12 foundations and on them were the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And once we get there, um, the words of the Apostle Paul, who says, you are built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. To me, that's a little different than what we have here in the throne room. And I want to suggest another possibility, and it can't be proven. However, if you remember from confirmation days, and you learn the books of the Old Testament, and you look at how it's divided in well, the Tan Catechism that I used, Gauzowitz. You get down to the prophets. And we learned and remember that there were four what we call major prophets. Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Daniel. And then there were the minor prophets. We speak of the minor prophets only in this sense that their books aren't as long as Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel. When we speak of them as minor prophets, they're not lesser men, lesser prophets, not on the same level as Isaiah and the others, they proclaim God's word. They were sent by God just as much as the others were, or any of the other prophets. And it's the same with the apostles, right? They went and proclaimed God's word. And while Israel is certainly, the 12 tribes of Israel were God's chosen people in the Old Testament. That's a fact. Maybe. Just maybe. You have the 12 minor prophets and the 12 apostles. Partially based on the word elder and its use in the New Testament that it directs us to a ministry, someone who preaches. And we 
wouldn't say that the twelve sons of Jacob were preachers. Just, just a thought, something that crossed my mind in, in considering these things. And whether you take it as the twelve minor prophets or the twelve tribes of Israel, you know, it doesn't matter. It's representative of the Old and the New Testament believers. Representative of them. And the fact that you have 24 divided by 2, the Old and the New Testament, and these 24 elders recognize and point us to God who created all things, by whom all things exist and are and were created, and to Him the entire scriptures give glory.